Hello, welcome to another lesson on reflections. We're going to look at some uh, another examples and we're going to look at the algebra behind it a little bit. Here we have two general ideas about reflections over y and x axis. So the idea is if you think about the coordinate plane and you think about the x axis, if you think about taking any point or line or figure and reflecting it across that x axis, either top to bottom or bottom to top, you'll notice that only one of the coordinates change. So let's look at an example. If we think about the point 3, comma, negative 2 right there, and we were to reflect it or fold it across the x-axis, this point would map directly across the x-axis to a point that is perfectly above it vertically. And what would happen, it would map up here to the point 3, comma, positive 2. All right. And so that's where we get this property. If you reflect across the X axis, the only thing that changes is the Y value. OK, you went from X comma Y, any point to X comma negative Y. It changed the sign. In the example I showed you, I uh, started with a negative point A and I went to A prime, the image of the pre-image. If you reflect across the Y axis, the similar thing will happen, except the only thing changing when we fold across the Y axis will be the X value will change signs. Well, let's take a look at when we reflect across any vertical or horizontal line. Here on GeoDRA, I have this figure uh, in the second quadrant. I want to look at reflecting it across vertical and horizontal lines. So I have drawn in a line uh, there towards the bottom. You can see FG, line FG. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reflect this figure across it and see how it changes the features of the coordinates. So to do that, we choose uh, more and more. We have our tools at the bottom, transform, reflect this figure about this line. And then we're just going to try and notice some things, okay? What are some things that happened when we did this? First of all, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it. All right, so what happened to those coordinates? Well, if we just examine one of the coordinates, it's probably enough. Let's take a look at the point A right here, okay? A, where was A formally? Let's zoom in on that and think, we'll think about it. It's back uh, six and up three, all right? It is uh, back six and up three initially, okay? And where did it go to? If we think about where it went to down here, now when I reflected it across uh, this line, and the line is FG, so let's we better write down what this line is. FG is the line at Y equals negative one. So if we look at the point A prime, what we notice is it's still back six, but now it's down negative five. So what happened, is the y value changed and there's several things to notice about it at first off there's the symmetry that it was the point was four spaces above the line y equals negative one now it's four spaces below there is a formula to talk about this um, and i'm going to show you that in a second but uh, what's more important is to just notice that distance behavior that the distance between any line of reflection is the same distance to the point on the other side of the line if you were to reflect it across a line that's vertical you would have the same thing in this case i've drawn a vertical line if you just uh, see the line that cuts right through the middle of the figures you can also reflect it about that so let's see i'm going to reflect this figure um, onto itself and notice it just basically kind of flops it or, or reflects it over the top of itself. In general, here's what I want you to, to notice. Um, let's take a look at this uh, statement here. Reflection over X equals A versus reflection over Y equals B. There is a formula for both. The idea is that if you have a line, I'll just do one of them. If you have the line X equals A, if you have an A value, and you have a line uh, x equals a right there. If you take an image, I'm just going to draw a blob there, right? And you reflect that. I didn't probably do a very good job drawing, redrawing the blob, but imagine the, the blob being reflected across this line. What basically happens is every x, y coordinate in the pre-image is mapped to 2a minus x comma y uh, in the image. And there's great algebraic reasons for that.